Good morning, everyone. I come to Walmart, did you? Well, the adventure's over. And I got to thinking. I had a lot of time to think. Everyone's pregnant right now. Good morning, everyone. It is a wonderful Friday. Uh, you know I love Friday, my favorite day of the week. It is absolutely gorgeous out here, super hot in Georgia. Gonna head back to Florida, have to say, had a good time. People real nice. Uh, the way they situate their malls and businesses, not a fan of that. They're all hidden behind trees so you can't find anything, but you know, each state does its own thing, right? Ooh, looking good today they have. Anyway, let's get up on the road. We have about six hours to get back to the house, do some stopping along the way, some shopping. And then maybe we can find something interesting, right? We're gonna see. Hello everyone. I hope you're having a great day. Now you didn't think I was just gonna leave you without having our regular discussion of the day. I mean, it is Friday. And I got to thinking, I had a lot of time to think, thought about Today's topic, since we always keep it positive, would be something about flexibility. Ooh, not the type like a contortionist does, you know, not the robot type flexibility, but I mean in your life, just in general, like this trip. You know, I've decided to just do it last minute. I really didn't make any plans. I actually deconstructed some plans I had and put it all together and just had some fun with it. And I had a great time. I think flexibility is really important in our lives. We have to start, uh, we have to start living that way. We have to adjust our life so everything isn't always so planned. So ABC, do you know what I mean? We need to have it where we can just spur the moment, move and enjoy ourselves. It's like there aren't consequences for everything in life like they like to tell you. It's not a matter of consequence versus, you know, routine. It's about being able to bend, being able to change directions on a moment's notice and being all right with it. You know, I think I was pretty successful. I did the videos I wanted to do. Well, most of them. See, I had to be flexible. Everything wasn't going to work out. Where I went to eat, what I decided to do. But I, I really, I embraced that and went with it. And I came up with some different content that you'll be seeing next week and my regular content. And I, you know, I scored gold on most everything and some extras, but I really, I'm proud of myself. I was able to just, you know, adapt, change with what happened, not let it slow me down and still deliver a quality product. So I'm asking you, then let me know in the comments down below. Are you flexible? Is it easy for you to change directions? Or are you set in stone? Man, I used to be set in stone. And not that I would fall apart, but I would get so angry and so aggravated whenever, you know, things didn't work exactly the way I wrote it down and planned it. But I think through photography, since it's so, uh, such a waiting game, not so, but more such a waiting game, that you learn a patience that really has helped me in a lot of other ways. I mean, just my overall uh, ability to be patient has increased like a thousand percent. And my outlook on things like this, just like I'm saying, my ability to be flexible has gone from like a two to a 10, which, you know, really makes life much easier. It's way less stressful for me. I mean, if it happens, it happens. If it don't happen, it don't happen. I mean, what are you gonna do, right? But you let me know. Are you flexible? Are you a lifestyle contortionist? Can you just change directions, do a 180? You know, I'm trying to be that way and get better at it because when I start really traveling like to different countries, you gotta be flexible, man. I already, I already have a plan well, you see, that's not the right way to say it, but I've already learned the concept of how to be flexible in your travel schedule. Like, you may plan to leave on a Sunday, but you may have to leave on a Wednesday. And you may plan to 
go directly to Spain, but you may have to go to France first. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning a lot of secrets that I plan on sharing with you guys. Eh, not so much secrets. Oh, I'm so smart. I know these secrets you don't know. No, not, not so much secrets, but tips. I like to call it tips. Leave me a tip. Leave me a tip down below. If you have a good travel tip that we can all benefit from, let us know, please. I, I'm really, you know, looking forward to making travel vlog, blah, blah, blah. Making travel vlogging and traveling my main source of income. We all know this, but before that happens, like everything else, you gotta learn how to do it properly. So, I got some things uh, that I've learned in the past couple of months that are going to help A, stretch my budget further, B, make me a more wiser traveler, and C, just overall zen my life out. It's good to do that, you know what I mean? Oh, these people are killing me. Every time I get away from one of them, they dive right in front of me. This particular vehicle happens to have a uh, avoidance onboard avoidance system so when anybody jumps in front of you it pulls the brakes when anything gets too close alongside of you it kills the brakes and just slows you down in general uh, yeah, other than that the gas mileage is phenomenal and it's very comfortable but it's Toyota Camry 2019 Toyota Camry car of the week I'll show you the outside when I get out for gas later and that'll be that but like I said flexibility Thumbs up, thumbs down, kicking your behind, or are you a master, a, a master of the trade to say? Let me know, I'm very curious. And those travel tips, don't hold out. I want some more travel tips, man. I'm gonna share them all with you in one video. I don't like to preach, but I love to preach. Well, the adventure's over. Ooh wee. Got a lot of cars in here, huh? Rent the car center. Yeah, boy. What a trip today, huh, folks? That was unbelievable. Made great time. Got back in only five hours. Man, I kicked ass. And I'm feeling great. Today is Friday. Y'all know what that usually means. There should be a Walmart run. Not quite sure I'll be doing that tonight. Let's see if Rini has a list ready. I don't think she expects me to be up for that, but she's wrong. I am. Because I don't want to do nothing tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be my day to rest. 12 hours of driving in the last two days. Uh, was 900, oh, sorry, 1110 miles. Man, what a great trip though, huh? And then you have big old Hank. I put his two cents in. Funny guy though, right? Tells it like it is. Let me know in the comments down below if you liked uh, his appearance. If you did, maybe we'll bring him around again. For now, we gotta grab our car that's in the other parking lot and get back to town. Uh, some little kid lost their little fluffy thing. Oh, that's not nice. Okay, here we go. You don't think just because we drove 12 hours in the last two days and came all the way in from Georgia early this afternoon that we weren't coming to Walmart, did you? Oh my goodness, I'd never let you guys down like that. Come on, man, let's get inside and get this done. I do want to go home and rest eventually, you know, it's been a long week. maybe having a segment where I uh, review baby stuff like strollers bouncy play toys look at this man I feel bad for you parents today when I have my kids wow it was cool they didn't have stuff like this yeah 40 bucks that ain't bad man we definitely have these things in our house oh that's cool what do you think should I review baby stuff I come to Walmart anyway I do strollers one week I had a running stroller then I could do baby swing rocking chairs and bassinets. Oh man, I could see I could see two or three months worth of uh, content coming out of here. I'm getting delirious, man. I've been up too long today. Let's get the rest of our stuff and get out of here before I lose it. Or well, they send uh, security in on me. Like, what's the weird guy doing hanging over in the baby section?
it's over. Oh my goodness, I am exhausted. Delirious, exhausted, I don't know what you would call it. A little bit of everything. Started off early, 4 a.m. Drove back from Atlanta, six hours. Well, five actually, I winged it, man. Five and a half hours, we'll split the difference. Went back out to the airport, dropped off the rental car, came back, did the grocery shopping, hung out with Rini. Oh my goodness, man. This has been quite the busy week, huh, my friends? Well, tomorrow is Saturday. Gonna take a break. Got some uh, pictures to critique. Got some videos to put together from the trip. You'll be seeing all of those next week. That'll be the entire week's worth of videos. Really interesting, really cool stuff. But, y'all know how we do it. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm never gonna stop asking, never. Love ya. Enjoy your weekend. See y'all on Monday. I think I'm gonna sleep all day tomorrow. Now nah, we all know I can't sleep one to four hours, but I'm gonna go for the record and make it five. Five hours in a row. After this kind of day, I think I can do it.